congratulations on your new series and 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 and, and thank you for taking a little bit of your time to talk to me. I appreciate it. Thank, thank you. you for having us. Thank you. <laughs> I wanted to ask uh, Noemi, uh, you play Selena's sister in the series. Can you tell me a little about how you prepared for this role? Did you watch old footage, photographs, notes, talk to the family? And and please, can you tell me a little bit of your training with the with the drums in, in you know in the in the music side, uh, which of course was a vital uh, vital to your character and, and and the band. Absolutely, thank you, Francisco. Um, so essentially, um, I. I had all my previous history knowing about the family because I've been following them since I was a little girl um, when they were appearing in Sabado Gigante y Siempre en Domingo. And um, I had that to, to harp back on. I have watched over and over her interviews and I watched over and over her performances and saw the difference between um, when she was doing ranchera music, American sounds, and then the cumbia mainstream sounds. Um, got to see how she changed her body language a little bit when, you know, from girl to woman and and then um, what what else? I cut my hair, my long hair and permed it for the role. I changed my general appearance and then I didn't know how to play the drums beforehand. So I um, was given um, an hour twice a week uh, with our music instructors, Antonio Pontarelli and Kiko Branesi and my drum instructor. And uh, by the grace of God and my discipline, I, I rehearsed every day, twice a day even before I went into rehearsal with them so I could capitalize on the time I had. And it was a demanding instrument to say the least. It was very challenging. And that really helped me shape, you know, um, before grief, Suzette, you know, because we've seen a lot of her post grief and then as a CEO, but who was she before that? And if she had to learn this challenging instrument as a, as a child, as a girl who wasn't as musically enthusiastic as her, as her siblings, You know, it was really fun to have that experience as Noemi, the actress, and then take all of that and apply it to my character and shape Suzette. And it was just really fun to, to get to have all those elements put together. That sounds awesome. Incredible. And, and Sadie, uh, the same to you. Uh, you play Selena's mother in the series. Can you also touch a little bit on how you prepare for the role, uh, preparing to play, you know, this, this nurturing figure This go make your dreams come true for your uh, a really important person in Selena's life. Can, can you talk a little bit about that? Yeah, um, unfortunately, I didn't have as much um, video footage and things like that of Marcela because she was more private as far as the interviews went and all of that. Um, but I did find one um, that I loved and that I used. Um, and that was when they asked her what it was like to be a mom. And I think it was a special that they did in Spanish Um, during Mother's Day, and her answer was was just so heartfelt and so beautiful and and so strong that I was like, "This is it. This is this is what I what I need for this foundation and for this mom." You know, she was all of that balance. You know, she had that inner strength, that centeredness, that that calm, but at the same time, that love and 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 nurtured for their children um and so I build on that you know I I once I found that I was like yeah I I I, I get her and then you just add the layers you know you give it your heart you give it your own experience in some way she was she was a lot like my mom um and she she had very similar um ways of reacting to things based on on um Um, sound bites that I heard from Suzette. She was very generous and Suzette helped a lot um, with giving us some some recordings and some recordings and some information. And so those were priceless. And between that and the recordings, um, I was able to kind of give her all that I could, you know, all of my heart, all of my core and everything. And hopefully that that shines through. I mean, I'm always amazed by the process of you guys getting into these characters, especially people who are, who are real. So uh, congratulations again on, on the series and thank you for taking a little bit of your time to talk to me. I appreciate it. No, thank, thank you, Francisco. You.